going on guys Ronnie here with the local losers it is a cold day here in Arizona um, you can see ice on the front of my Subaru it's like solid on there it snowed last night and it's been like 34 35 degrees it barely got above freezing which isn't normal but we had a big package come in today <clears throat> Bo and I went in on this. Um, he's going to come make an appearance in the video. I don't know if he knows that he's going to make an appearance, but he's going to. So these are our two big wooden boxes with stuff that we bought that we maybe or maybe shouldn't have bought. Um, we have these forks right here, thanks to Carissa's dad. And we got to wait for Jake to get home. And we'll use his tractor right there. Put these forks on it. Drag these things into the garage, the shop, the big white box, whatever it's called. Carissa calls it the shop. I call it the garage half the time. She gets mad at me. Anyways, so that's what we're doing. We're just waiting on Jake to get home. We're waiting on Bo to get here and Dom's coming. And then we're going to drag those things into the shop, open them up, show you guys what we got. Come slow. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bo here, shooting some video. You can't just start talking and not tell the people that you're here. I just told them. Oh, I okay. said, hey, it's Bo, I'm shooting some video. About to get run over. Or have this car dropped on me, one or the other. We've been needing one of these for a long time. We'll be changing all the time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I want it to go right there. Oh, that makes sense. That's what I'm saying. Jake's just over here doing all the work. Thanks, That's Jake. why we hired him. <laughs> what is in here? Oh. This is way better than Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is like it's not even car parts, but we're so excited. Dude, it's kind of car parts. It's car stuff. It's tools. I mean, tools are almost yeah, better than car parts. Giant tools. Yeah, just tear it open. It smells weird. <laughs> We're going to shoot this for Dom's OnlyFans. All right, let's see if we can lose a toe trying to get this thing out of here. Holy crap. 
Not quite. No, we're doing this on your fucking foot. Not sandals. Jake's back over with the support. He's uh, eating all our calories for us. Come on. Knuckle that I shaved off. Will it focus? No? There it goes. All right. All the guys are noticing the lube. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> lube is important. That's what I hear. What is this thing? I guess I can get a side off that other box. 12? Nah. 10? 10? Yeah. How is it Dang it, my battery's dead. <laughs> oh, is it bolted down? Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. So, is this pneumatic or hydraulic? Pneumatic. Nice. Are most tire mount things you make? Right on. <laughs> you hate changing the tires. Well, I'm not going to mind doing it for free. <laughs> well, you know, free ish. We still got to pay for the machine. <laughs> If the Get machine was cheap, like... Get after it. Relatively. Mm -hmm. Why is your light red and mine hey, blinking you? new? Is, you have the new mic? Give me batteries. What are you talking about? You have the new mic? Because yours is red, mine's blue. No, that's because the batteries are dying. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Two of them. I don't know. All night. Thank you, Carissa, for letting us do this. <laughs> All right, here's all the parts. Now uh, we just need a bunch of people to come over and put it together. Straight from North Korea. Yay. Do you need me to model it? Yeah, dude. Lean up against it. Stick your booty out. There you go. Check out my new tire changer. <laughs> what does it got? Like a bolt sticking out the bottom or something? It won't stand up straight? No, there's something in Oh, the air fittings on the bottom of that? I wonder if there are instructions in this box right here. Let's take a look. I'm going to sit you down, point you this way, and then that way. Let's see what we got. Say that again? No, no, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I think I found instructions. A 100 gram wheel weight, I assume, for calibrating. Oh, the instructions are probably right there. Yeah, probably right here. This bag is for the entire machine. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's got a bunch of fitment rings. It's got a a clampy thing, a torture, a torture device. Yeah, it came with all the like different sizes for the for wheels. 
What are they called? I call them center spinny thingies. Yeah, exactly. So what's in here? Oh yeah, totally. Probably instructions. Build a car with batteries in it. There we go. Got it. Okay. This is the guy that built your motor. <laughs> Let's see here. User manual, tire changer. Uh, it's got like four words on every page. So that, it's got holes that was in there. Does yeah. it go up Stop admiring. It screws on to the back right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, here you go. You got picks, slot A and tab B and whatnot. Installation right. of components. Let's pick this up. Sound line. I think I'm recording your junk right now. I'm recording your junk right now. Yeah, it's the best angle. Did you get it? Definitely better than okay, the voice. Don't do anything. All right, okay. we're gonna get a little bit of it together. And All right, stand stay it. Stay tuned. Huh? Stand it. Is there not an air fitting down there? As with most so most projects top. like this. Is that the only one? One person usually does all the work and then the no, other dudes just stand around and say, hey, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Maybe try this. <laughs> no, that's just a pigtail. And, and the other guy stands by and just goes, an hell yeah. Board bolted on to hell yeah. <laughs> I can't work it. Can you come out? Oops. Let's go. <laughs> First test. All right. Expect any and all failures. Hang on, boys. Is that on? Yeah. Hang on, guys. Will you turn that valve off right there? For now? Yeah. Yeah, just so we can see what. How bones? This thing went together pretty quick. Okay. The IKEA tires. If it's actually together. <laughs> Tank. Turn it up. Sketching me out. What? Yeah, boy. What? <laughs> you gonna go? I have no idea. Come on. You can do it. It's not that cold. Good. <laughs> Sound and Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go. We need to loosen these. Too tight. Really? <laughs> Come on. It doesn't smell good. It's been in the belt. Oh, nice. There it goes. We got this here. It's uh, sticks out a little further than I wanted, but we got it in as back as far as we can. It's actually not bad at all. Let me see how it sticks. I think it's. Oh, it does stick. Here, tuck the arm in. Probably doesn't stick out barely at all. Yeah, it probably sticks out four or five inches. That's not bad. With everything in, it's not. And this can be squared up, which will make it in more too. Oh, okay. So, so no, that's not bad. I was working on the balancer a little bit. Um, there was a couple cheap things on this that are kind of junk. Um, there was a pressure gauge that went up here. That ripped the threads out It was that one in the bag? Yeah. <laughs> so um, that brass fitting was garbage. So we'll replace this blow off with a better one. Um, this gauge is kind of cheapy, but I have a nice one. So it's not a big deal. Jordy tell me it came with a built-in cheetah? No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it has a cheetah right here, which is cool. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Yeah, the funny thing is, is like the hose is on this side and the, the valve is on that side. So you oh. got you to two person it, it's a cheetah. But yeah, so we just got to tie into our air fitting here, run us one over here. That's where this will live. And then we got our tire balancer right here. And I was getting ready to play with what it came with. 
because I don't know what all this stuff is here. Oh, all the loose pieces. This screws into here. This is all new to me. I have no idea how to do all this stuff. This is exciting. I'm pretty excited. Okay. We got this for measuring. We got all our little fittings. Let's figure out how all this goes. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> it obviously goes together. The screen goes in there. Yay. Like that. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to figure this out. I didn't uh, I didn't do tires much when I worked at Dodge. Kind of pawned that off on other people. But we do have instructions for both of these. Neither one have been very helpful yet. But we'll learn. Right on. So what are we mounting tires for first? Um I got trailer tires coming for the trip to Texas. Replace uh, all the tires on the trailer. To pick up the car. So that'll be our that'll be our first ones. I actually yeah. bought some stuff over here, so I didn't realize it would come with all this stuff that it came with. There we go. It's pretty nice. So I bought this. Oh yeah. <laughs> My fingers are so freaking Action. cold. Action. Um, anyways, and then I bought this box of weights. These are just like clip-on style weights. They're not yeah. stickies like we'll use on our cars, but they're weights. So we'll... Uh, they work for trailer tires, definitely. Yeah, we'll be able to put them over here. We gotta figure all this, all this out. Did you, did you buy uh, valve stems? No, I did not. Like the insert thing? Stems. Oh, do you have a tool for that? Nope. A little valve stem. We'll tool. have to get one. Ooh. So exciting. I like buying new tools. It's fun. This is going to be such a big deal. Like, do Bo and I really mount that many tires? No. But this will allow us to. And, like, that's the thing about big tools. I mount a lot of tires. Like, come in, like because of my uh, heritage wheels suck so bad. <laughs> I'm taking my tires off of them all the time just to run better wheels. That's fine. <laughs> I probably took them to the tire shop like four times this year because I keep getting cracks in them. That's terrible. Because three-piece hooked me up with those stupid Chinese barrels. Thanks. Yeah. I got to take these off. That was a big deal of why I wanted to get it was yeah. because I got to take these off so I can fix them. Let's step back and look at this, uh, this board lock real quick. This thing's so good looking. Like, oh my gosh. With the Advent Siennas on, BC Racing coilovers. Dang, it looks good. Anyway, I'm back. Anyway. Good morning. Yes, it's the next day. <laughs> Ronnie just got back from Harbor Freight, grabbing some stuff to, I don't know, put the rest of this thing together. Yeah, we put this airline in here. So I had to buy a T so we can hook up the old stuff and then got all the stuff to run the new thing to this. Up out of the way. Oh, that airline. Okay. And uh, now it's hooked up. So I'm just trying to read. I want to find out what this pop-off is set for. We have a pressure gauge here. So Is there a way to adjust the pop-off? No, it's going to be whatever it is. And then we can adjust our inlet pressure here on our regulator. Because gotcha. it came with a regulator and a water dryer, which is nice. I brought over a, a, a dope-ass rep to freaking change <laughs> this tire, take a tire off and remount it. We can try this thing out. The electrical system must be operated by a professional. So. Oh, dang. We have to Glad we're squared away that. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally professionals. I don't know what that valve's set for. It doesn't say. All right, whatever. Let's do this thing. Yeah, let's do this. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and turn this on. We're going to see what happens. Oh, please don't explode. Where are we leaking? Oh, this is open. Sketching me out. Hmm. <laughs> 
the hell? This thing's in bar. It's in map and bar. Oh no. No. Who the fuck understands that? Something's leaking. Yeah, I hear a hissing over there. This guy. You gonna pause for a second? Yep. I'm gonna make it. Did you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Are you ready? By the way, Ronnie's done this before. Once or twice. No, I have never done this before. <laughs> Which one of these does that thing? This one. Good luck. what you're used to yeah nice it looked easy it was easy the <laughs> hardest part was breaking the bead yeah, these crappy tires, tires. Worn out. yeah all right let's mount it oh, or put mount the same one up, back dude. on i want to air it up to 95 <laughs> psi <laughs> <laughs> it's even got a little steel showing so we might get a nice explosion <laughs> so we have some lube here Came with lube nice and a lube brush and a Sick. A brushy brush. It's a little cold. Yeah, brush some of that on my right hand while you're at it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yeah. Get in there nice and deep like. Nice and deep like. <laughs> I can't believe how easy this thing was to put together. I mean, I didn't do anything. I just kind of stood by, but like it went together pretty quick. You were on the phone the whole time. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Have you ever mounted a tire on a manual tire mounting machine? Those little, like, red ones that you get from Harbor Freight? No. <laughs> not fun at all. <coughs> In no way is it fun. I can imagine. It's a little bit novel the first time, but that's when it's the hardest. So that's when it sucks the worst. This tire's so shit, like, you can almost just put it on. Sweet. It's definitely easier to mount, like, a 60 series tire than it is a 45 series tire. That's for sure. Which I'm sure it's probably the same on this. Probably much easier to mount a tire with a, a higher sidewall. Oh, yeah. I bet off-road tires just, like, pop on. Let's see. Come on. Should we use the cheetah? Dude. Let's use the cheetah. Do we need both of us? Probably. Okay, let me put the camera down. This is going to be hilarious. I hope it doesn't like blow my pants down. Because <laughs> I've seen that happen. But I think it was on purpose. So loud. All right, here we go. Let's go, cheetah. Woohoo! How do, what do I do? There's a button over there on the side. Just hit it. What do you mean a button? You see it down there? Oh, the that foot button? Foot pedal? Yep. Oh. Well, I don't think it took it. Oh. Do you have to put the air on it while it's doing that? I don't know. I've never used a cheetah, so I don't know how they work. Do you just lift up on this? Is this what you do? You can try. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Maybe. Come on. There it goes. This was educational for me. I wonder how good this cage works. I don't know. It sketches me out. It says it's at 10, and when <laughs> it I press what? it, it says it's at 80. What's in that thing? Oops. <laughs> we have to figure out how to do it. How to like set this up real quick. No, right on. Did you calibrate it yet? No, I haven't done nothing. Okay, stand by. Do the whole process? Do I? Yeah, like we'll just start it again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. do the whole process. This is how long it takes. <laughs> Nice. We went through the whole calibration process and that was fun. <laughs> it's not even that long, but it confused us because in the middle of the calibration process, it switched itself from grams to ounces. So at one point it's reading add 100 grams and then on the next one it said add 3.5 ounces and we were like, what? So when you're at a tire shop and you run the uh, thing and then you put the weights on it, do you always check it after you put the weights on it? Yeah. Does everybody always check it after they put the weights on it? They should. <laughs> you gotta make sure you get double zeros. Yeah, right. There you go. It's all balanced, mounted. Dunzos. Nice. Well, that was super easy. I mean, I didn't do anything, so it was super easy for me. Yeah, now it's your turn to... Yay, now I get to do, do it all, it. right? <laughs> all right? So there it is. Bo mounted a tire. We, uh, we dismounted and remounted and rebalanced and everything. And uh, yeah, this was totally worth it. I'll drop an Amazon link below if you guys feel like being big ballers. <laughs> but uh, this will be a nice addition to the shop and things we can do. It just makes it easier, the convenience. You know, even on your daily driver, you got a flat. You just come fix it. It's pretty sweet. So anyways, thanks for hanging out. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next one.